I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys. Ready. Let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. What a punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Couple of chins here being tested early. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Beautiful kick. Combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Try to establish that jab. Right at the elbow. Five feet later. Just over three minutes to go. It's blocked. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. He's able to slip the left there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Switching stances here. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Leg kick checked by Lee. Big and kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down from the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Just missed with that right hand. Nice loop and punch. Big head kick. Just missed with the left there.
30 seconds now to go in the round. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice right hand. Sneaky head kick. Right hand upstairs. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Nice leg kick. Just a slip there. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Pretty good knee to the body by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, Roundhouse, talk to me about that kick. He is throwing his entire body into that kick to the point that he turns all the way around before he can face his opponent again. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right punches there. Oh, just misses with the kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Punch over the top. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. He blocks the shot. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Shots, you hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Pretty significant wealth to the left side. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active.
Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Massive head kick. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night when that landed. Trying to establish that jab one. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high. But now he's got him hurt bad. Ten seconds. He missed with that jab attempt there. Liver kick. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level which works for us. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Real quick leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice right hand, John. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Effective punch there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Unable to connect there. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Good stick. Just over three minutes to go. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big leg kick lands. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Block that kick to the body. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice leg kick lands. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, nice right hand. And he caught the kick. And they separate. 
And he landed the right hand there. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that hit. Oh, I did because I have time where I just kick like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big body keep land. Big head kick land. Oh, loaded up on that uppercut, but it's no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. There's no tell on that leg kick. That's a big strike. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big kick. Lands the right hand. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Nice punch here. Nice body right on the elbow. Nice head kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Back and forth we go. He's going after the head. Beautiful body kick land right on the elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, what a punch. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Head kick. Lee's kick is blocked. Big kick lands as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He's got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice punch, Lance. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Lee's punch to the body, that one is blocked. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Throwing that jab now again, the fight will be. Such a fast leg kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Big kick lands. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice head kick. Remain 
in the rack. Straight punch lands. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Hands high, hands high. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, side kick. Well done. Look at the turnover in that kick. Big head kick lands. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. Nice punch by Lee. to his highlight reel. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Fifth and final round. What a body kick. Oh, big punch lands. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Right hand on point. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Slips the punch. Good punch lands. Big body kick. Oh, good kicks. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Well, I'm no analyst, but this fighter is completely out of gas, hasn't managed his tank well at all, and to compound matters, he's getting cooked on the scorecards. I mean, he is getting outclassed right now. He's tired. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent work very bad. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Under three minutes now to go round five. Trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, and he caught the kick. Be able to check the high kick. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. 
either get knocked out or you knock them out. One way or the other, you're gonna lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. You gotta check these low leg kicks. And now he's got his opponent hurt. Big kick lands. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Kick to the body by him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. One minute to go in the fight. Nice kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Good punch. 20 seconds left. Oh, and he caught the kick. Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter.